Welcome to the block party at 252 two kids. kids. We're so glad that you're joining us today. You know, a block party is the kind of get together you have with the people who live in your neighborhood or apartment building. You can play games, you can dance, and you can invite others to join in the fun. Honestly, it is a great way to show friendship. So, Mac, what is friendship? Friendship is using your words and actions to show others before ourselves. No, to show others that you care. To show others that you care, right. And everyone wants to be a good friend. But sometimes we might not be the best at showing it. Sometimes we might have to stop and think about putting others before ourselves. You know, God can help us choose to be good friends to others, and he can help us choose to surround ourselves with friends who will help us grow closer to him. There's some verses in the Bible that show us how important friendship is, like in the book of Ecclesiastes. So we want everybody to stand up on your feet, let's sing out loud, and we'll see you after the video. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road back again. People Thank you for being a friend. Yes, friend. <laughs> Come harder, person, than love. No, no, no. <laughs> you got a friend in me.
right, John, are you ready for the tug of war? Oh, I'm ready, Brandon. On your mark, get set, go! go. How, how is this helping us to learn how to do the tug of war? It's not, it's not, something's wrong. We need to be both pulling on the same rope. Oh, yes, of course. <sighs> Let's try this again. Yeah, star wipe. On your mark, get set, go. <clears throat> oh, man, this isn't how a tug of war works either. No? No, we should be on opposite sides of the rope. Otherwise, it's just gonna be. <clears throat> That was unusual. I'm okay. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. I'm John. And this is the So and So Show, a show where me and my best friend try to have some fun, we learn something, <laughs> we do... You okay, do you need a lozenge? No, I'm fine, please. Continue. All right. Anyway, it's the show where me and my best friend, we try and learn something. What are you doing? Why are you making that noise? You want me to stop talking? No, it's, no, it's, no. no. Just. This is a show where me and my best friend, what is the matter? Why do you keep crying when I say best friend? Are you? It's just that we've been best friends for a really long time now, right? So long. Well, the thing is, I've got a new best friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, we can still be friends without being best friends. I mean, we're around each other all the time. It makes sense that we could use a break once in a while. But, but, Believe me, I get it. But I don't. Who is this new best friend anyway? Tell me everything. Okay, so I was walking through the store the other day, mm -hmm. and I hear this voice out of the blue. Hi. So I turned around, and I said, hi, back, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not every day that you meet people who are just plain old friendly, right? So you have to. Anyway, before you know it, we got to talking, and you wouldn't believe how smart she is. I mean, she knows something about everything. We were in the store talking for like hours. Manager said it, I had to leave or make a purchase. And uh, next thing you know, we're walking out of the store together. <laughs> We've been best friends ever since. Wow, that's awesome. When do I get to meet her? Oh, oh, she's here. Oh, she is? Yeah. Well, in that case, please welcome someone who knows everything. Is she coming? What? Oh, through the door? Oh, no, of course not. No, no. I don't understand. Besides, she's words. already here. Brandon, allow me to introduce Sylvia. Ah. Say hello, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> she slays me. That's a great joke. Hey, John, you know your best friend can't be a robot voice in a box, right? Oh, jealous. No. Of course it can. Look at all the fun times we've had together already. Hey, Sylvia, play the friendship montage. Playing friendship montage. John, this thing is not your friend. Jeez. It's a box that you found in it. It's a box, all right? And, it, and it's just like every other box in the store. That's not true. It is. That is not true. She has answers to all my questions. We have the same taste in music. We, we know okay, where look, I like it, to all eat. All it does is repeat facts from the internet and play generated playlists. No, so she also knows what the weather is gonna be like. How does she know that? It's, 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 it's a computer. It's a, it can only give you facts, right? It can't give you, it can't help you like a, a real friend can. You know, like, like a, what's a problem that you're having right now? Anything, tell me. Okay, okay. Well, you know my neighbor. 
Long beard Carl? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, well, he keeps blocking my driveway. He's got like six cars for no reason, and like, it just keeps frustrating me. Okay, well, um, as your friend who is actually listening to your problems, I suggest that you go to Longbeard Carl and you tell him what's bothering you. <laughs> uh huh. Well, what do you think, Sylvia? Searching for tow truck companies. Oh, come on. You are not going to call a tow truck and tow Longbeard Carl's car without talking no, to No, I him. know, I know. But I'm just saying Sylvia heard the problem and came up with a possibly good solution. The tow truck is on its way. No, no, cancel the tow truck. Cancel the tow truck. Tow truck canceled. She was just trying to be helpful. Uh huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi, Kellen. Now ordering nine melons. No, oh, no, 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 not melons. Kellen, no, cancel the melon order. Cancel the melon order. Canceling melons. Whoa, you guys found one of the new Sylvia's? You know, sometimes it seems like she found me. He thinks it's his new best friend. Oh, she's way more than a friend. She can do this. Sylvia, go disco mode. Disco mode engaged. Sylvia, stop. No, no, don't listen to him, Sylvia. Uh, uh, go crazy bananas. Ordering 80 bananas. What is it with you and produce? No, cancel the banana order. Canceling bananas. You got a story for us, Kellen? I do. And speaking of produce, here's Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. <laughs> Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter are the best of friends, as you may know, but sometimes they don't make the wisest choices. So, Here's a little wisdom from the book of Ecclesiastes to help them out. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Did you hear that, Count Lupe? Two are better than one. What perfect timing. We can help each other get to the bottom of these stairs. Ho, <laughs> ho, who needs help? Last one down is improperly aged from Mars. Uh, uh, oh, ah, yay, ah, uh. Count Lupe, you fell. Oh, crack, uh, oh, crack, yeah, uh. I'll be happy to help you traverse the dangerous staircase, Mr. Fritter. I have brought a pillow. Oh, uh, thank you, Perry. You are a good friend. Um, yeah. The verses continue. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either of them falls down. Then the one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. Then feel sorry for that person. I couldn't have made it safely without you, Perry. And I could not have made it safely without you, Mr. Fritter. I could not make it to the hospital without either of you. Help! Friends are there to help each other. And when we mess up or when we fall down, friends can help us get back up. But Ecclesiastes has even more wisdom for us. <clears throat> One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. And a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. It's very crowded in here, Perry. I hope we'll be safe. We will be safe, Mr. Fritter, as long as we stick together. There's strength in numbers. You're right, Perry. You're so right. Hey, where's Count Lupe anyway? <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> I hope, uh, hope you are enjoying being packed in like cans of sardines while I have all the space in the world. <laughs> are you sure it's safe up there alone, Count Lupe? We can make room for you down here if you'd like. <laughs> Never! Besides, I am not all alone. There are two bags of uh, frozen green peas here to, to, to keep me company. 
Oh, Count Lupe, those peas have been there for years. I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. <laughs> Nonsense. It is they who should not m m m mess with m m m me. Count Lupe, look out! Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> that was silly. But the point is, a friend is there for you when you need help. They give you advice. They stand up for you when you're in trouble. It's good to have a friend. Isn't that right, Count Lupe? Oui. Oui. Back to you guys. Thank you, Kellen. That was a good lesson. Mm -hmm. It was very uh, fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Hey, do you get why this thing can't be your friend now? I mean, it's not going to give you advice. It's not going to stand up for you when you're in trouble. Uh, okay, okay. You're right. But it is good for one thing. Sylvia? Reveal the question. Thank you, Sylvia. The question of the day is, what makes someone a good friend? Someone who listens and cares? Yeah, someone who knows a little more than just how to do an internet search. Hmm. Yeah. Brandon, will you be my best friend again? Of course! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Sylvia. I'm going to go ahead and shut you down, all right? Yep. What are you doing, John? My mind is going, Daisy, Daisy, give your answer, do. So talk about it together. Uh, what makes someone a good friend? And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> How long are these stairs? That's too much, man. That's amazing. <laughs>
It's super important for us to have strong friendships. Friends get more done. Friends help each other, and friends stand up for each other. And most important of all, friends trust God together. That's right. We should try to be friends with everyone. But when it comes to the people you're closest to, those you spend most of your time with, those who you really listen to, you need to ask yourself this question. Does this friend help me trust God? Because those are the kind of friends you need to be with most of all. So, Mac, what is the main thing we need to remember today? Choose your friends carefully. Choose your friends carefully. Awesome. You know that someone will have a strong friendship with you if they have a strong friendship with God. That's why it's so important to seek out people who trust God. Your closest friend should help you love God and love others every single day. So, Mac, will you close us in prayer? Yes, let's talk to God and ask him to help choose our fr your friend, to help you to choose your friends carefully. God, thank you for these verses that show us what a good friendship is all about. I pray as we go in this week that we act out the wisdom, we act out the wisdom that you gave Solomon. <clears throat> Please help us look for people in our lives. We love you. We want to have friends around us who help us trust you, and we want to be that kind of friend for them too. We love you, and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mac. So remember, choose your friends carefully. And have fun this week, because we're going to have fun at our block, block party. party.